Howdy, howdy, howdy. Hey, it's Jeremy from Razor Sharp. Today's weekly tip. What we're gonna be discussing, dressing the wheel, okay? This wheel here is a pink aluminum oxide wheel. What do we use? A dressing stone. That's what we use on it. This here is a CBN wheel. What do we use on it? A white aluminum oxide dressing stick. It's a very, very fine grit. Let's see here. I got these ones, I think, off of eBay, actually. So I'm going to show you how to do this. Let's start off with CBN. Okay, here we go. So you turn it on. You grab your stick. And you just go like this. See how that got white around there? Whoops. I don't know if you can see that. We'll do it again. Shut it off. Just like that. That's all you do. It's that simple. And that's how you dress that. Okay, now when I say dress it, what it does is, if you can see, I don't know if you can see. Okay, see those little pores? All those pores? You can see the sparkles down there's one, up there's one. That's what cuts the metal, okay? And you gotta have those pores open. And if you don't dress that every so often, what happens is those pores plug up. And then when you go to take this onto metal, your cutters, it'll heat it up and it'll push it, you know? And when it pushes it, it burns your cutters. You don't want that. So. That's how you do that, okay? You just dress it every so often. CBN with a white aluminum oxide stick. Okay, well let's go over here. How do you dress this? It's real simple. Take this and just go like this. And around. Like that. Don't do it aggressive. Don't do it hard. Take your time. Patience is key. Trust me on this. And you get the shape that you want, okay? And here, I'll prove it. Watch this. Here we go. Look at that. Look how beautiful that is. Now, I want you to look at that. Awesome. Here we go. Oh, that's beautiful. Watch how beautiful that comes out. Look at that. Oh, let's back up to this one here. That one was uh, too deep, actually. And that wasn't my fault. It was already done. Look at that. That's beautiful. But that's how you dress it. Here's what I'm going to tell you about dressing these, okay? This here, aluminum oxide, you have to dress it more often, okay? Because like I said before, by the time this chain goes all the way around, and gets to the end, I'm telling you right now, this profile will be different. Now, when you profile it, you profile it to your preference. I have a certain preference that I like here at Razor Sharp that we use for that and the CBN wheels, okay? I profile my own and I've got a machine that does that for the CBN and it works great. So this here, you just gotta profile it with this right here. But that's how you profile. You just sit there and go around like this until you get the perfect shape. And once you get that perfect shape, then you're good to go. Now, after you've done that, if you want, for a coolant agent, here's Slick Stick. And this stuff here, it works pretty daggone good. You just, you go like this. Just take it and go, boop, boop, just like that. And that will keep your wheel cool. Same thing with CBN. But don't put too much on it because what will happen is it will plug up the pores. Remember the pores I told you on that? It will plug them up. Same thing with this. Okay. Now, something else you can use. My good friend Jack Daniels sent me. I think it's called Cool Stick. See how I put it on there and black it up? You just go like this. Touch it. That's it. And that will keep your wheels cool too for so long. But like I said, don't put too much on and you got to watch it because it'll plug up. Now, here's another tip. Okay. Say you don't put anything on it and your wheels start turning black. And you'll see a lot of guys where the wheels are black. That's burning the cutters. 
You don't want that black on there at all. Go like this. Take it off. I'm not talking about what I just put on there. I'm talking about for normal wear. <clears throat> that, that's a coolant stick, so that's different. But the other is like, you see a little black line coming? You want that off, because that will burn your cutter. I'm just telling you straight out, so. All right, well, as usual, it's like this. If you don't want to mess with it at all, you know what to do. Send them wood eaters to Razor Sharp. We'll take care of them and be glad to have you as a customer. Because we love you, and God loves you, and God bless you all. And remember, we're going to be giving away that 395 XP Husker Varna, the big dog, on uh, June 23rd, or 22nd or 23rd, I think, is the last day to get all your wood eaters in. So for every 10 wood eaters you send us, your name will go into the blessing box for the chainsaw, for the drawing. So if you send us 20, you're going to get two entries. If you send us 30, you're going to get three entries. And we're going to give that away. So uh, July, the 2nd of July, I think, is the, the day. I can't remember when we're actually going to do the live drawing. But anyways, send us those wood eaters, and I hope this has helped somebody out. And if you have any questions, let me know. God bless you all.